Aaron Hoover is a Gold Star father who lost his son, Marine Staff Sergeant Taylor Hoover, at Abbey Gate, and he joins us tonight once again along with Congressman Rich McCormick, who was at today's House Foreign Affairs Committee hearing. Gentlemen, good to see you both. And Darren, I want to start with you. General McKenzie addressed Abbey Gate in his opening statement, claiming that while in command, that he prevented more Abbey Gates from happening and that he was proud of that. I want to play that moment here really quick and get your reaction on the other side. We avoided a number of potential Abbey Gate attacks, and I'm proud of the commanders and troops who prevented them. This is small comfort to those who lost loved ones, and I realize this. Nonetheless, what's remarkable about Kabul is not that the tragedy of Abbey Gate happened, but that many other attacks did not happen. Sir, I'd just like to get your response to that. If he was so, so, uh, forceful with that, that there were other Abbey Gate attacks that were not because of because of what happened, then why on earth were we still at that gate, still moving forward? And, you know, it's just, he was full of lies today. It's incredible how much he did lie and got caught in it several times. He wasn't called out very much. But he was caught in several lies, and I can't help but think that this is one of those. Congressman, your assessment of, of what we saw today and, and the blame, they're, they're trying to stick to the State Department, which no doubt deserves some blame. Oh, well, it starts at the very top. The commander-in-chief gets to call all the shots. Yeah. Uh, if he disseminates any sort of decision-making, uh, delegates any decision-making, it's by his authority. It's his plan. It's his advisors. It's his hand-chosen people, whether it be Secretary of State, Secretary of Defense, uh, the people he's appointed as the Joint Chiefs of Staff. It's his decision, ultimately, how to run this war. He made multiple choices, errors. Uh, it resulted in the death of 13 members. It resulted in the death of several allied forces. It resulted in the crumbling of a nation that now harbors 27 military training facilities for, for terrorists with $7.2 billion worth of our military equipment to, to enrich their capabilities. Uh, this is all on him. This could have all been avoided. We had the country secured. Was it perfect? Absolutely not. Was the government corrupt? Absolutely was. But we had a country under control that we had paid the price for. Two million, two, sorry, two trillion dollars, 20 years, 2,462 lives, and now we're back, right back where we started. Yeah, and, and, and it was so fast. It happened like that. And, and somehow none of these people saw it coming, which was the most embarrassing part. Again, how much money do we spend to send to this government for this incompetence? You know, we, we learned today from Congressman Michael Waltz, uh, Mr. Hoover, uh, that Tony Blinken was uh, evidently in the Hamptons in August, the day before Kabul fell. Uh, your, your reaction to that? You know, it just goes back to what uh, Congressman McCormick just said. It, re it goes back to the top. If the... Secretary of State cannot be in at least D.C., at least in some position where he can make those calls and take those calls instead of being on vacation. It, it needs to be there. I mean, my goodness, the, the fall of Kabul was happening from the 15th of August up to and including the day that our kids were killed. And for, for the secretary to be on vacation is absolutely unconscionable. It, it blows my mind. It, it staggers my mind that, that that was the case and that still none of these people have been held to account for the actions that they took on that day. Right. And, Congressman, the fact that, 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 that Tony Blinken still has a job, that, that, that this administration is, is, is just that ridiculous that to just leave him there. <laughs> to say that it's unpredictable is absolutely a lie. Yeah. Everybody knew what was going to happen. Everybody knew that the Afghan government couldn't withstand any sort of assault by the Taliban as soon as we were true. This should be predictable. Even if you're going to decide, I'm going to desert these people after the huge investment, after we pay the price. If you know that, you should prepare for that. It doesn't mean you go on vacation. It doesn't mean you take it lightly. You can see every single day the deteriorating situation. You can see that they weren't going to last. You should have at least done the logistic point. When Millie said this was a logistic success, are you kidding me? Leaving behind $7.2 billion worth of military equipment, some of it brand
brand new, given the, the ability to see at night with brand new night vision goggles, leaving behind H60s and light armor vehicles and Humvees and M16s and ammunition. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. And you're right. Nobody was held accountable. Shame on us. Shame on us. Well said, sir. Shame on us. That's exactly it. Congressman, we appreciate your time. Mr. Hoover, thank you so much for your time and thank you for your son. And we appreciate thank you. it, sir.